and welcome back to another episode of Foxy No Tales Minecraft Adventures here inside of my Pocket Edition world. And today we've got quite a few things to do, but I'm going to start off by heading over to the challenge board. So you guys have been sending me all sorts of challenges. I have a massive list that I've written them all down, but obviously I haven't put them on here. And the reason I haven't put them on here is because this is horrible. It's rubbish. I don't like the way I cover up the challenges that I've completed. So in this episode, I thought we'd make a new one. Um, and I'm not sure where we're going to make it yet. But what I've thought is I'm going to try and put um, like a redstone lamp behind each one and a little lever on there so I can flash, uh, so I can um, highlight which ones I've already done with a redstone lamp. So we're not going to build it there. I think we should build it somewhere else. But uh, I've got a few things to show you before we start. So I've been shearing sheep like crazy. I've got quite a little bit of, uh, well, I've got just over two stacks of white wool. Um, I haven't done much farming. I have been trying to gather leather. My chicken machine is working great. So I've got plenty of feathers and I've got plenty of chicken. Um, what else have I got to show you? I've got quite a few things that have been going on outside of the last episode. So let's just put these things away. Is it, can I fit any more chicken in there? Yes, I can. Um, right, so... I've got, where's my leather? I've managed to get 13 pieces of leather, which is good, because we need some more books. So let's do that quickly first. Uh, I've got a load more paper in here. Uh, let's just uh, stick that on there, and let's make some books like that, so I can get another 13 books, which is great. Um, and now I'm going to need some wood in order to make those into bookcases for en our enchantment room. But uh, I'm just going to show you down here first, before we do that. I... Completely changed my mind about the floor in the last episode. So in the last episode, I made a fancy floor all the way through, and it was very much like this. So it had oak, wood, birch, wood, diorite, uh, or sorry, andesite, then diorite, and uh, a little bit of glowstone in the middle. And it was okay, but I've, I changed my mind how it was all going to work. So what I've done is I've created a few rooms so far. So obviously this is like the first room we come down into, which is a bit of a storage room. So we've got all the wood I chopped in the last episode. We've got all the wool I've been sharing. Oh, by the way, the challenge to get over a stack of obsidian. Yeah, smashed it. Okay, done that one. Got loads of glowstone and things in there. So all our building materials. In there. I've got all our diorite. I've got our andesite. I've got dirt. I've got um, sto um, cobblestone. I've got smooth stone. I've got gravel. I've got everything. And I've got loads of sand because I went to the desert smelting uh, to, to get loads of sand. So I started changing the floor up in lots of different ways. And what I ended up with was this kind of space station -y look to it all. And I really like it. So we've made use of some crafting tables on the corners and some glowstone. We've got this redstone uh, block line going around the middle to indicate where the middle is. And so I upgraded this room, which is obviously the nether portal room. And I used nether brick on the roof. I've used a little bit of quartz around there. I think it might be wool. I can't remember. Uh, and I've done the floor out of smooth stone and half stone slabs like this. And I... I've uh, just made the portal a little bit more fancy as well, and that works great. I really like the look of that. And from the outside, you can tell what room it is because it's got the uh, obsidian archways. For the enchantment room, I've done a similar sort of thing. So I've moved it round. Obviously, we're missing a few bookcases and things like that. But I put these crafting tables in the in the roof as well, which is quite good, uh, I think. So that looks quite nice. So I've kept the idea of the glass above the glowstone so we can see into each room. Um, but uh, yeah, I've made it sort of quite space stationy, and I really like it. I think it looks really good. And then I made this furnace room, and I really like this. It's very handy, and this has actually been smelting all of my glass, which is great. And, uh, well, hang on a minute. And, and the good thing about smelting all this glass as well is it's given me plenty of uh, XP from smelting it all, which is great. And you'll see I've actually got 26 levels because when I went over to the desert to get all the sand, it was nighttime. I forgot to take a bed and I ended up battling loads and loads of zombies and things like that. So yeah, I, uh, I got quite a lot of levels from that. So this is my little furnace room. It's got uh, space for my coal in the middle and a few chests around the outside that I can keep different materials in that I can smelt. Again, I've got the crafting tables in the floor and in the ceiling there and I really like it I think it looks really good so obviously I've got space for a few more rooms I haven't changed the floor in all of these yet I'll do that for each room as they're coming along but we do need to build a new a few new, new rooms we need uh, a bedroom we need the room for a mine shaft and things like that but I was thinking maybe we could build a room that almost went down into the ground which could be for our challenge board system sort of with layers so I think maybe this one here would be quite good for that but before we do that, let's just grab a little bit of wood. Let's make some bookcases. And it's really handy having these crafting tables in the middle of the room because, uh, yeah, you can uh, 
you, you can just craft anything wherever you want to. So we're going to get another four bookcases there, which is absolutely great. Let's go and place them in our enchantment room and see what levels we can get up to our enchantment. So if I do one there and there and there. Oh, no, not there. I've got, I've got a Silk Touch pickaxe, which is a bit slow, but it works. There we go. So one there and one there. So I guess we'd probably be able to get up to level 30 now, but we actually need to get something to put on it to find that out. So I'm going to put my enchanted, not my enchanted book, my normal book back in here. I'm going to put my oak wood back in there. I'm going to put all my glass into the uh, sand chest just so I know where it is. And we're going to need all this glass for all the windows and things we're going to be building. And let's just go and make, um, what should we make? Can we, should we just make a, oh, we've got a diamond pickaxe here. I was going to enchant that, wasn't I? And I wanted looting on it. So let's grab a few lapis and let's see if we can get a decent enchantment. Now, I've only got 26 levels. I haven't got 30, but I reckon the enchantment table should be able to get up to 30 levels on it now. I'm hoping. Yes, we can look, which is unbreaking three, but it's offering me efficiency too, which I don't really want. So we're not going to bother with that right now. I do need to pop a little chest in here to keep my lapis in. But again, that's not what this episode's about. This episode is about moving our challenge board or making a room for our challenge board so i'm going to pop that back in there i'm going to pop the lapis back in there and uh yeah let's uh let's have a look at how we're going to do this then so we're going to need a load of redstone lamps so already we've got on here what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen is that is that right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so we've got 26 challenges on there already and i've probably got nearly that amount again from what to, what you guys have written to me in the last couple of episodes so we're going to need this to be pretty big and uh, considering because of the redstone lamps in fact if i make a redstone like i can show you what i'm talking about so let's grab some gl uh, redstone and let's get some glowstone. And I've got a fair bit of glowstone because I did a lot of work in the nether. And I don't know why I'm coming back up here to the crafting table because there's loads down there. But yeah, if I put some glowstone in the middle there and I go like this, I can make a redstone lamp. And then if I grab a lever, which I've got one in here and a couple of blocks just to test this with, if I have... Oh, I need another one. Hang on one minute. Okay, so now I've made 12 glow, um, redstone lamps. And the reason for this is I'll, I'll show you. If I do a row of sandstone like that, if I put redstone lamps across the front like that, and if I put a lever on one, it lights up two because it powers this block and that block. So we can't do it that way. What we need to do is we need to put the lever on the bottom and the redstone lamp on the top. So if I put the sign on that one there, we're going to need two rows for every one layer of signs. And uh, yeah, so it's going to take up quite a lot of room, which is why I think we're probably going to need to dig down into that room and make it pretty big. So I'm going to grab all of these back. I'm going to go down into that room where we're going to be going. And let's just see how many signs we can actually get on one layer of it. Yeah, I think I, think I said we were going to do this one, didn't we? So um, let's, uh, let's just tidy this room up a little bit. Let's add a little bit more to it and uh, then we'll work it all out what we need. Right, so this is the main sort of room size, if you like. I've, I've put the glowstone around. I've put a little quick, quick floor in. Obviously, if we're going to be digging down into the ground, this floor will disappear. But I just want to work out how many signs we can actually get in this room before we start. So I'm just going to pick a fairly boring uh, piece of stone now for the walls, just for now, so that we can... Yeah, figure it out. And hello, skeleton. No, we don't want you here, please. And how are these guys spawning? I've, I've lit up this area so much, but uh, not to worry, they are doing anyway. So let's put the archways in for the doors and let's put the walls around and let's figure out how many um, yeah signs we can get around just these three layers to start with so we can work out how many layers we're going to need to go down. What I was thinking is if I had like a redstone lamps around like that, just I know it's bringing the room in a little bit more and then I could have the uh, whatever block underneath. I'm just going to stick down diorite for now because it's in my inventory. So if I had those like that, um, how have I done that side as a square but this one not? That's hmm, that's interesting. Have I done the walls differently? I think ah, I've left that one bare. That's actually not a bad idea. Let's just try that then. Yeah, I was thinking something like that, and then I could put the signs on, which I don't have any signs, typical. I've got a load in here, I think. I've got 10. That'll do us for now. That's not a problem. And then if I had the signs with the challenges on like that, the problem is I can't do that one as well. So that makes that one completely pointless. So maybe if we got rid of these ones altogether at the sides, 
Um, we could do something with that there and just make that a little bit prettier. I don't know what we could add there. Maybe I could just put the uh, the horrible, boring, just normal stone back there for now. And that would give us two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen signs per floor. And we've already got 26, which means we'd need a lot of floors. So maybe that's not the most ideal set up for this. I think we definitely are going to need to go into the floor quite significantly here in order to make this work properly. Okay, I think I've come up with uh, quite a good design. What I've done is I've put this glass floor in this top layer with a ladder down to the to the next layer. And on this layer, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So five, 10, 15, 20 rows of signs on each uh, sort of two layer block. And then another glass floor, and we'll do that going down. So then we can uh, turn those lights on like we, as we need to. And then we can just go further and further down as we get more and more challenges. Now, there's not a great deal of headroom between each floor, but I don't think we need it. I think this will look pretty cool. And by the time we've gone like really far down, that's going to be that's going to be a lot of signs. And I think it'll look really awesome. So I don't really know what to do with this top layer. I'm just going to leave it as it is for now until we've uh, yeah, until I've got a better plan. What I do need to do is just make that bit match up with the rest of the room. Otherwise, it's just going to look a bit odd. But yeah, I'm happy with that. I think that looks good. So I'm going to uh, go down. I'm going to make loads of signs. I'm going to make a few floors and I'm just going to go and add in all the signs from all the challenges that we've had so far. Okay, so looking at the previous challenge board, this is where I was up to, which was James Delian, who told me to go to the nether. So that was the last top one I put on there. I've now added all of the signs from all of the challenges that I've had into the new room that we'll go to now. And uh, let's just head downstairs. So we've got the first layer of signs here, and then this is the second layer of signs, and it brings us all the way up to the very last one there. So we've got 39 challenges altogether. So uh, where was the one where it said go to the never? I think that was this one here. So that's ticked off because we've done that. So since then, we've had Brandon Hitchens has said catch an enchanting bug 
book from fishing without doing an AFK session. Uh, Andrew Hill says, make a nether base. Boom Explosions M- MCP says, make five buttons and when the buttons are broken, do things. And I've, I've asked him about that. It didn't really make a great deal of sense. So I've asked him a question about that in the comments. Ryan Shaw said, use the default texture pack for two episodes. Ryan Shaw also said, make an XP farm. Snow TBS MCP said, make a village and kill a 15 ember in endermen in five episodes and make a blaze farm and defeat the weather so that's lots of challenges from them lava man 33 has been back he said complete three challenges in one episode make a bakery sell cake bread cookies and pie make a brewing room wind brew at least 15 potions and rescue the floating dirt block and put it in a secret vault with the cake okay so that's all of the challenges i'm quite happy with this room i think it looks okay it's probably a little bit messy we could probably do with a little bit of decoration up here but that's okay for now i've got plenty of room for expansion so uh, i suppose i ought to do one of the challenges really today and i think the challenge that i'm going to do today is i'm going to go rescue that dirt block because why not it's hiding up at the top and i don't if you don't know what we're talking about the floating dirt block you'll soon see in a minute and i'm going to need some dirt for piling up actually so oh actually i won't use dirt because i'll get confused as to what's what so i'll use gravel to pile up okay is it night time it's probably it's always night time it's not night time that's good but it is rain oh lovely and we got much chicken we got 12 chicken there with the cows are going well the sheep have all got their fur wool not fur back so that's good and uh, this is the floating bl dirt block so originally lava man asked me to get rid of it because it was annoying and i thought do you know what it's so different just being randomly up here all on its own i f i didn't really want to get rid of it so he gave me two challenges one was these uh to like add a load of other random blocks up here with it and make like a tornado shape and i thought that might look a bit messy and the other one he said was go and rescue it and put it down in uh, your secret vault with the cake that you made now I haven't got a secret vault yet, but I have made the cake ready for the secret vault. So now I suppose I need to get this. And I can't pile across with gravel because it's just going to fall to the floor. So I'm going to have to use a little bit of sandstone because I don't want to lose it. I don't want it to just disappear. This is a very important moment. We're going to see saying goodbye to the floating dirt block that's been with us since the beginning. And uh, see you later, dirt. Oh, dear. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to get down there quick and go and rescue it. Ow, that was a long way down. Oh, half a heart. Half a heart. Eat. Eat. Uh, I did get it, though. Here it is. Here's the dirt block. And what I'm going to do is I, so I don't get this confused with anything else, I'm going to go to my anvil and I'm going to waste some XP and I'm going to rename it if I can. So let's put it on here and let's put it in there and let's call it floating dirt block. There we go. That's going to cost me one XP, but now it's not going to go missing when I put it in a chest. I'll put it here next to the cake I made. Look, so it's safe. And uh, now it's night time, so we can go to sleep. We can get rid of the rain. We can go and knock that gravel tower down. And I suppose the last thing for us to do today in this episode is to get rid of the, uh, the old challenge board because we don't need it anymore. We've got the new one. So I think hopefully this works in PE. It certainly works in uh, normal, uh, normal Minecraft. I always call it that. Oh, no, I can't place it quick enough. There we go. Just put a torch underneath and all of them just turn back into the entities. You don't have to use your spade or anything to get rid of them. And uh, yeah, so that's that bit done. Let's go and get rid of this challenge board then. So it didn't last very long, this thing. It was a bit of a waste of time really putting it up, but it served its purpose for a few episodes at least. So I'll get rid of the wood first with my axe and then I'll come along and get rid of the cobblestone. And I'll also get rid of the little glass area I've put in front of it so that this hill is back to being a nice big grass hill and we've got this horrible ugly signboard out of the way and uh, yeah it'll just look a lot nicer and cleaner up here which is which is nice so I'm going to finish getting rid of this I'll be back with you guys in just a second there we go that's the hole filled in so now I suppose although I haven't put it in a secret vault yet it doesn't really matter too much because I'll do that later on but I'm going to go oh hello what are you doing in there I'm going to go and tick that sign off now and uh, while I'm at it I'm going to just fill this hole in as well to stop anything else spawning in that hole right let's go and see what signs we can get ticked off here then so uh, get two of every colour sheep, I haven't done it. 31st steak and burn it. I could do that, but I really don't want to. Although, there is a challenge to do three challenges in one episode, so I suppose I could do that. So let's just put a block down there for a second to remind us. Five different items from fishing. Kill creeper with a shovel. That could be one we could do today if we can find one. Farm for all the plants. I think I've done that one. 
Right, rescue the floating dirt block I've done. So we can tick that one off. So that's one challenge done today. Craft TNT and blow it up. I suppose we could do that one today. I keep threatening to do that one, but I haven't done it yet. Put first cake in vault. Well, I made the cake. I just haven't put it in the vault yet. So, um, right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn 34 steak. I'm going to blow up some TNT. And because I've rescued the first, the uh, floating block, that's three challenges done in one video, which means I can tick that off. So let's make some TNT. There we go. There's a the TNT. So I've got that. Right. So now I need to... I've forgotten what the other challenge was. Make TNT and blow... It was like 10 seconds ago and I've already forgotten. Make TNT and blow it up. And what was the other one? Kill a creeper with a shovel. Well, there are, ah, 34 steak, but that's why I forgot, because I don't. I really don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Right, I do have some steak in one of these, I believe. Or did I take... Oh, no, I took it out at the beginning of the episode. It's in my inventory. I have got a lot of steak because I've been getting a lot of leather from my cows. So let's grab... Look, I've got... I've got 64. I've got exactly a stack of steak. So I only need 34... And I've got to burn it. Oh, I don't want to do that. Right, well, I suppose we're going to need to make some fire then. So let's, uh, where's our flint and steel? Okay, it's gone. I don't know what I've done with that. I, I can easily make another one, but oh, where have I just put that dirt block? I've just placed a dirt block. I didn't mean to do that. Ah, there it is. So I've got some flint and steel. Uh, and a bit of nether rack would be useful so I can actually set fire to it. But I smelted it all into nether bricks. I suppose I could go into the nether and do it. But when I go in the nether, it breaks my um, my recording. It doesn't work. It completely mucks it up. So maybe that's not the best idea. Okay, I'll tell you what. We'll just set fire to something and hope it works. So let's let's go let's go down our mine with the TNT. We'll actually make this useful. Right. So there's our diamonds that we're waiting for our fortune pickaxe for. So let's blow up this gravel because gravel's easy to blow up. So let's put that there. Let's set fire to that. There we go. And I know what you're thinking. I could put the stake on the TNT and blow it up, but it didn't say blow it up. It said burn it. So I suppose I should do as I'm told. Oh, what a mess that made. That made a horrendous mess. It wasn't particularly loud, though. It didn't make much of an explosion noise. So uh, so I suppose that's not too bad. But yeah, I've got a, got a lot of gravel from that, and it uh, saved me a bit of digging there. So that's quite handy. Now I need to burn this stake. So what can I set fire to? I know I could light, light the stone on the floor, but I think it goes out pretty quickly. Let's have a look. Let's just check. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it doesn't. So goodbye, stake. It was nice knowing you. There you go. Burnt 34 steak and it's gone. Oh no, my steak. Took me ages to get all that. But not to worry, that's three challenges done. So I can actually now tick off four challenges in one episode because I can tick off the challenge that was to, to, to do three challenges in that episode. So that's pretty good. So let's uh, let's go find out what they were again. Let's. I can't get down this ladder. Why can't I go down the ladder? There we go, that's it. So I've done that one. Tick. I haven't done the creeper one, so I'm not going to worry about that. I've done TNT and blow it up. Tick. And I did the rescue of the dirt block. So where is the complete three challenges in one episode? Tick. There we go. It's all coming together rather nicely. Let's get rid of that and tidy that up a bit. Very good. So I think that's been a rather successful episode and I would love to hear what you think about my new base. So instead of having my bedroom downstairs, I was thinking of just completely demolishing this house and having like a floating like space dock bedroom up there. And then I could incorporate the water slide I, uh, challenge down into this base. And I think that'd be pretty good. So let me know your thoughts on that and what you think I should do for my bedroom. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like if you did and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Here's another one you might like. And if you don't fancy that one, why don't you go to my channel page and see what else there is. There you can find all of my videos and playlists so you can watch a video whenever you want. And don't forget, you can also subscribe to get notified whenever I release a new video so you never miss out on anything.